Welcome back to Frozen Education. This is Ed. Today I'm going to be giving an update on NIO. Uh, my original video is in the description for the uh, longer term DD on this stock, uh, since I do think that there's a long future for this stock. Uh, now, going in, we're going to be doing a little bit of technical analysis one month, one day, and then we're going to do a one hour perspective, and then we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of looking into the latest news as we do have a bit of an update there. So first things first, we get to see in the one month, one day, 10 SMA is still far off the 30 AMA, which is a good sign. The stock price is above the 50 SMA, the 200 SMA. Average directional index is a little bit too high for my liking, uh, but it has been for quite a little. I think uh, all the way since back uh, somewhere around 24th of June. Now, in terms of William percent R, the stock is sitting a bit more neutral, which is a good sign here in terms of a healthy pullback. Uh, it's definitely in terms of momentum here. You get to see the momentum is still high on the stock. The unbalanced volume is still very much on a similar level than it was before. Volume has decreased a little significantly from what we've seen from previous days. Uh, and then in terms of coming into the MACD, we get to see a little bit of a decline into the MACD. So that's a little bit of a shaky news. Now we want to look into what is the support, what we, what we might actually see uh, in terms of the one hour at least perspective. So... In the one hour perspective here, you get to see that the stock price, uh, I believe two days ago around 16, dropped under the 50 SMA, but it's still above the 200 SMA, so that kind of cancels things out. The VWAP, uh, the stock has been above the VWAP for a little, uh, quite a bit now. In terms of the MACD, you get to see that it's actually going in towards the positive, and it could actually see a little bit of a positive day, at least in the pre-market. And the average directional index uh, shows that it's around 34. It doesn't mean much since the stock has been trading, uh, traded a little bit in towards a, a growth on the day before and then back to a drop, a pullback a little. Uh, William Person R shows the stock to be oversold for a few times in a day and then sitting back at a neutral. In terms of the stock's uh, 10 SMA is currently below 30 EMA, which is not good news for me, but uh, we might actually see a little bit of reversal based on the MACD and in terms of momentum here, you're getting see, to see a little bit of a pullback on there. Now going in towards uh, the moving average and what you get to see is the moving average for the stock is catching up to where the stock is. What you're seeing here is a hammer, which is uh, could be a really good sign for the stock. Now going in towards uh, the Fibonacci retracements, you get to see that the stock has a support somewhere around 1298. And then the one following that would be somewhere around 1265. The current big resistance would be around 1432, uh, which is somewhere around, I believe, a little bit above 1%, or actually a little bit more. It's around 6%, uh, give or take. So this stock here is also forming a pattern that I might actually see in terms of one hour perspective. Uh, you get to see here that it might actually be forming somewhat off a double bottom or a triple bottom. I uh, wonder how that will play during on to the next day. In terms of trend lines, um, I'm going to try to draw one here quickly. And you get to see the trend line is way far off. Uh, although you might actually see that trend line going in from 11.25 to 11.49 to cross the $12 tomorrow. So I would definitely consider putting in a stop limit if you uh, or averaging down below, I would say, the 11.90 range. Now, when you were talking about news uh, that is showing up for this company, it's definitely institutional buyings. And that happened a bunch of them yesterday. And we get to see here is that uh, this company, this bank here has actually bought 500 shares. This one here has decreased, decreased their shares uh, by 100% down in central. Trust Quo actually also bought a bit of different shares at an average share price of $5. So not a lot happening here. But what we're seeing is that some institutions are getting a little bit of a fear or perhaps just uh, trying to cover profits and lock it, realize these profits before buying it in again at a cheaper price. But what we're seeing here is, for instance, CNO Bank, right? This company, this bank has around 113000 in terms of profit, in terms of portfolio value. So nothing really going on here for this company, for, for this institution. Uh, let's take a quick look into the two different companies that actually dumped this, uh, Bedal and Harrell. So Bedal's portfolio uh, is currently sitting at $185 million. So that's a little bit of a bigger fish with uh, different companies here, such as Tesla and whatnot. Uh, Harrell here, you get to see uh, 
Hold on a second here. Yeah, you get to see that this company here is at a $2 trillion. Uh, but they could be in a position where they've actually bought it a little bit earlier than we were anticipating. I would go down below this kind of aisle, but it seems that they actually did buy it some, some time a bit ago. So this could be just realization of profit. So I wouldn't worry much about this. Uh, Central Trust Co. is actually as well another almost $2 trillion company that invested in this. So that kind of institutional buying you shouldn't be worrying about. You should try to look into the chart and see what the patterns are in terms of that. Now, for one more thing we get to look at is compare if it's still uh, trading similar to that of Tesla's. Uh, this is actually showing up. This is on my Reddit. Uh, and so we need to compare here if it's actually still trading similar to that of Tesla's. And as we can see here, that it is actually following very much in terms of Tesla's actions. Thank you very much. What do you think about this ticker? Make sure you mention it down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.